Hi everybody, this is Angela Sasser of Angelic Shade Studio, back for more. I just returned from a convention, so I wanted to show you guys how I got everything in my car, and just what it is I brought along to help make this convention go smoothly. This is my little hatchback Mazda 3. Everything you see here on the ground, I managed to get in that little space right there. For starters, here we have the bins that hold our product, which are the prints. I put a little tape on them so that when we're riding in the car, these drawers don't slide open, spilling prints everywhere. So it's always good to bring some packing tape for that reason. The prints just slide right in. I packed them pretty full, which you maybe don't want to do that because they kind of make the drawers hard to push back in sometimes. But anyways, these stack really nicely on top of one another so you can put them side by side or, you know, however you like and they s will stack and save you space. When this is empty, you can use it to hold all your office supplies. When the prints are on display, you'll have all that space to store office supplies. Speaking of which, of course, when you're at a con, you have to bring money. So this is a handy dandy little cash box and calculator because I don't do math. It's solar powered so we don't have to worry about batteries running out or what have you. You just put it under a bright light and it works. This is my brand new credit card terminal which saved my butt this weekend. It, unlike a phone, if you're thinking of running credit cards through phones, I get terrible phone service at conventions, so this little thing has its own modem and gets way better service than any phone since it connects through its own modem. And it also batches wirelessly if you're thinking of a good terminal. This is a Nurit 8000. Inside the cash box, which I got this cash box at Walmart if you're curious, there's a little change drawer. And I also store envelopes which keep my receipts in order for tax purposes. So this one I keep my income in, which is credit receipts, and then this one has all the expense receipts in it, and it's much thicker, <laughs> which makes me sad. Then of course, little notepad to write totals and any notes we need to write down during the convention, it's always good to have that. Here we have some plastic bags, which is great, that people love that they can carry all of their little items in one bag, so that's just good customer service to have right there. And I found those bags at Staples. They're only like 9 bucks for 250 of them. The bags are held in this fold-up cube dolly, which is great since that folds right down and fits in my teeny little car perfectly when I'm not using it. Here we have my tri-corner hat and mask, which I wore to the last con. I always like to take one costume with me so I can dress up on Saturdays, the high traffic days. It really does help draw people to your table if you're dressed up. If only so they can take a photo of your costume and maybe you can get them chatting about what they like. It's a good draw. Unless you want to, you know, hire a mascot to dance wildly in front of your table, but not everyone has the money for that. Underneath we have a crushed velvet sheet that I use to cover my table when I'm not there. Just looks prettier than, you know, leaving empty boxes strewn about. <laughs> I also use this as backing for gallery panels sometimes because it looks nicer than pegboard. Here we have various canvas bags which are great because unlike cheap plastic bags they will not collapse on you or get holes or punctures in them. I use them to contain other plastic bags. This bag has office items in it because no matter the convention you will always need tape, scissors, and glass cleaner. Just trust me on that one. I also bring along wire cutters and uh, picture hanging stuff just in case the picture needs to be repaired at the last minute. God willing it won't be. There's another bag here with little jewelry bags because I like to give my necklaces out in little organza bags. Another bag has more tape because like I said you can never use enough tape, never have enough tape. There are binder clips in here that I use to attach things to the wire cubes that I have for display. 
Here we have a receipt book. You can get that at Walmart or Staples. I wrap my necklaces up in microfiber cloth towels. Actually, this is a sham. Wow! Gotta love them. This is the, it's held in a plastic bin. That's just an old file box of mine, which I put tons of stuff in here. I put the credit, the receipt book, little signs, notes. These signs you can find at Target. These stand-up signs. They're great for projecting from your table if you have something to advertise. Get them at Target for like three bucks instead of buying them for 17 bucks at Staples. That's just crazy. Here's my cute little Visa MasterCard sign. Oh yeah. Made that myself on the computer. Portfolio. This is an inventory sheet so my mom knows what the title of my pieces are because there are so many that start with Angel of Blah. So she likes to have that when I'm not there to identify things. Here's an inventory sheet. So I know what I've sold, all the X's are sold things. These are what I display the prints in when they're out on the table. And if you want to see my display in action, I have some photos up on my blog at blog.angelicshades.com. So these just fold right up when I'm not using them. You can also get those at Walmart. I have a green one for clearance prints. And there's also more prints underneath here. And a mirror so people can try on jewelry. Here we have a butt pillow. You may laugh, but this pillow will save your back. <laughs> That's because uh, plastic chairs are pretty hard, and when you're sitting in one for three days straight, it starts to get a little uncomfortable. So a butt pillow, or, you know, a back pillow, whatever you want to call it, useful thing to have. Bag of random bubble paper, just in case you need to wrap something like that bin right there so it doesn't get scratched up. Plastic scratches pretty easily. Here's a business card holder for my panel. I like to put that up in gallery panels so people can get business cards in more than one place. That's a tiered magazine stand that I got from Displays to Go. That's great for displaying my little matted prints. I fitted all of my gallery panel in this single envelope which I made myself out of heat insulation. You can find that tutorial on how to make your own art storage envelopes on my YouTube channel. My username is Angelic Shades. Here's my banner, my banner, my banner, vinyl printed, which rolls up nicely for storage and travel. Here's the ever handy universal storage cubes that I use as grid wall displays to the table. A second dolly that folds up because there's two of us we each like to take in a dolly for a load so we can get all of this stuff out in about two loads. Here's my cute little tree. I think we got that from Target as well. That's for displaying jewelry. Here we have the mini cooler because you do not want to buy bottled water at a hotel. It's about two dollars or more for anything. You just don't want to waste money buying food there. It's way too expensive. It saves you money in the long run to have a little cooler you can transport food in. And then you can just get ice at the hotel because it's free. And here we have my spinning rack, which is just like a little... You can see a drawing of it there. It's just like a little greeting card rack and I put mini prints on that and a little sign at the top of the price. This is just a shoe box with more prints in it. You always save good shoe boxes because they're great for transporting things. Finally we have my book bag which I use to store anything that I will immediately need like my laptops tucked in the back here and I've got art pads and books and things to keep me entertained while I'm there. And believe it or not, yes it all fit in the back here. Also, don't forget your map if you have no sense of direction like me. I have a GPS, too, to help me get around. 